A breaking news overnight. Birmingham police say two men are dead and one injured in a deadly shooting in West Birmingham. This happened at the Eliton Village Housing Complex on 3rd Avenue West last night. The shooting victim who, who survived is expected to be okay. Police believe there are multiple suspects. This deadly shooting marks the city's 101st homicide so far this year. Anyone with information about this shooting is asked to call police. And it's been a busy weekend for Birmingham police as they continue to investigate another homicide, this one taking place in the Ingle Nook area. That's where police say they found two men shot inside a car. The passenger was pronounced dead on the scene. The driver was taken to UAB hospital with life threatening injuries. Well, he later died at the hospital. At this time, a motive for the shooting remains unclear and no one has been arrested. Birmingham police are identifying the father killed in a shooting and car crash. This happened on Arkadelphia Road near Interstate 5920 on Friday evening. When police arrived on scene, they found Demarcus Moss Sr. shot in the driver's seat. An infant and toddler were also in the car. They were taken to, hospi to the hospital with injuries. So far, no one has been arrested in this case either. And unlike that interstate shooting we have told you about, a Tuscaloosa County woman says she was fortunate enough to dodge a bullet along Interstate 50 or 69 or 65 rather in Birmingham on her way into work. WVTM 13 Chip Scarborough says the woman wants people to know what happened to her. The drive up Interstate 5920 from Cottondale to Birmingham seemed normal for Melissa Bush on Friday morning until she merged on I-65 in downtown Birmingham. And as I was in the right hand lane, uh, getting ready to get off on 4th Avenue, I heard a loud pop and I turned to my left and noticed that the winch, the back window on the driver's side was busted out. Bush says she immediately realized she had been shot at. Instead of stopping to investigate further, she called 911 and continued on to where she works. She had police meet her there. And I had had no incidents with anyone on the road whatsoever. It was a very low traffic day. Everything was smooth and I saw absolutely nothing. About 10 hours later, a man was shot and killed while driving on Arkadelphia Road. The man's two children were injured as a result of the car crashing after he was shot. Others were injured when the man's car crashed into their car. Melissa Bush says this incident hits close to home for her. I wondered, are there other instances where there are near misses like mine um, that are not being reported? And is there a possible link between these? Bush wasn't able to work on Friday morning after what happened, but says she will return to work Sunday morning. She just wants police to find the person who shot into her car. When I gave them the information, they, they took it, but basically told me I would probably ne never hear anything about it, never know who did it or why they did it, and just kind of felt like it was blown off. I reached out to the Birmingham Police Department about Melissa Bush's case and how it's being handled. A spokesperson tells me the department takes cases like this very seriously and has a whole unit dedicated to solving them. In Birmingham, Chip Scarborough, WVTM 13.